this is why I don't like recording stuff and doing this because I already got enough to do and this really just slows me down so how about I just change locations of the camera if I still really need to get this footage but good grief the house. This runs perpendicular to the ceiling joist and the floor joist. So I need to build a temporary wall to get this out of the way. I need to build two temporary walls. One on the front side, one on the back side. Once that is built I can take out that header, take out all these two by fours, and then up above we can put in our beam that's going to be flush with the ceiling there. So all this wood that I pull out, I'm going to save it. It's got a lot of character. It's really old. This house is almost 70 years old, which means all this wood is, you know, at least 70 years old. But then it means that the tree that it came out of had to be at least 40 or 50 years old. So this is all really super, super hard yellow pine. So we want to save all this. The wall is down. Two new walls up, one wall down. So I got that down, came through, cut out all the nails that supported it on the top, and uh, chop it on the edge there. So I pulled, you can see that uh, two by 10 over there, that header, pulled that out, can keep that. And uh, Here's that long double top plate that was there. So I'll separate those. Those are some good boards to hold on to, but cool. So that's ready, ready for that beam. We'll get the uh, jack on that side there. Get that measurement right. Get this one here. Get the two by six uh, cut and out of the way. Get the beam ready for the two by tens that will hold the uh, second floor. So I got the dumpster delivered. It's uh, 6.56 in the morning and uh, I gotta fill it up now with all this stuff. And then all that, all the roof, all of that goes into here. That will be fun. That's nice. A pair of uh, underwear in the dumpster. Hmm. What else in here? Any food? Nope. Just those underwear. Hey, so a quick review of this Bosch light. Um, this is the Bosch GL18V1900. Um, this is a great light. It's much, much better than you see like these clip lights I've got just like thrown everywhere in the attic. These Bosch lights just put out so much more light and it's an LED. Um, so what's really great about it is that you can put it on as just a light on a stand like this. Good grief. 
um, battery slides on the back, uh, you can anchor it with a uh, 5 8 uh, machine thread uh, bolt, which I've done. I've put uh, several bolts kind of on these kind of hot spots where I know I'm going to need lights. So we just used a, uh, can you even see it? Yeah, so just used a um, 3 inch by 5 8 machine bolt with a like conduit, like half inch conduit strap up there. And um, these things last a good while. I mean, every bit of, you know, a couple hours. But what's really great is that when you have enough of them and when you have enough batteries, you don't need extension cords everywhere. You don't need bulbs that are burning out. Um, every time that I use these work lamps, like this one here, every time I use one of those, it breaks. The bulbs break, it gets super, super hot. Can't carry it around. You can't run out to the truck when it's dark out and get something out of there. So, like I said, I got a few of these that I ordered. I think these are a new tool, but um, not very heavy. And like I said, the machine thread on this part is such an awesome feature because all the other clap clamps that you would need to hook something like this up, uh, you don't need. You just need a machine thread, 3 8 bolt. Um, and then the other thing is uh, there's no magnet on it and there's no like belt clip to it just because this thing is too big. Let me turn it off. So, kind of see it's about the size of my head. I have a, I have a tiny head? Another fat guy with a tiny head. I got a tiny head? Uh, yeah, it's Tommy Boy. Um, really, really great portability. Um, versatility, that's the word I'm looking for. Versatility. Mr. Leffridge. Power button right there on the side. Oh, pfft. it's got two, two, uh, two light things. So we got bright, hold it, dim. Oh, bright, dim. Bright, dim. Off. Okay. Guys, thanks uh, for watching the light review. Let's get back to work. So it's time for me to get some steel toe boots. Uh, these are just some cheapy boots that I really just like the color of them. And <laughs> um, I just kicked into, let me show you. I just walked through here carrying the trash can and I just kicked into that nail, like walking at it like that. And it went into my shoe and missed my toe. I'm trying to just wiggle my baby toe in there. Missed my toe by like a quarter of an inch. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get some steel toe boots because as you can see, uh, not even close to done on the house. It's Sunday now and got the wall out between the kitchen and the living room and it is hot in here it's so hot and it's uh raining outside but listening to some music and clean it up got a dumpster showing up tomorrow that's some of the hardwood floor that was uh in here and then uh also some of the hardwood floor that was in the hallway 
So this is where our bathroom was. Tore that out and had to shore up the floor underneath of it. Some places I tied in new 2x10s and then other places I just sistered 2x4s on either side uh, where I needed to and where I could. And then this floor I'm waiting to replace until I know what we are doing with this wall, what goes here. And then also, depending on where these stairs go, these are gonna get moved. So this is ultimately gonna come out and I wanna replace this floor when there's nothing uh, on it. So I don't need to wedge uh, three quarter wood underneath that bottom plate. Um, or I could just kind of jig and cut around it. But uh, like I said, I don't know what I'm, we're doing over there just yet. So. So, I just demoed the uh, sides of the stairs here, where um, there's like a little closet that was there, and demoed that out of the way. We're not sure where the stairs are going to go yet, if they're going to go over here, like exactly three feet to the right, or a little further over, but uh, nonetheless. I gotta keep tearing these out, but I gotta get all these things out, all this de debris. That's the old bathroom that was down here. And this thing is funky. Um, we still got the toilet running just so. It's like Jurassic Park toilet. Really vulnerable in there. But, um, gonna be tearing this out uh, probably in the next couple of days, which is kind of sad. Which it's gonna be super hard to get tools in and out of the basement. We'll have to do it by ladder or we'll just have to rebuild the stairs. But um, excited about this. Got a few more things to clean up and then uh, then I'm done for the day. So it's been a good uh, been a good weekend. My goals for this week are to get everything in the dumpster that I possibly can that gets delivered on Monday. Um, and then um, we have an inspection for the demo, which would be everything that we've done up above here and uh, everything that we have done up to this point. So starting to starting to look worse. <laughs> I was going to say it's looking good, but it's not looking good. So I'm going to be doing some fun stuff tonight. So we passed uh, the demo inspection. So I have wood being delivered uh, tomorrow. We have two by tens and then some subfloor called the Advantech uh, subfloor, which I'm super excited about. And uh, check this out. Boots, steel toe boots. These barely fit me. No, they don't fit me. They're uh, size 10. I needed a nine and a half. So uh, I give these shoes uh, a 4.5 hammer uh, review. So, um, wish that they fit, but this is better than nothing. Probably what could happen though is I could, instead of stepping on a, a nail or kicking through a nail, I could just fall off the roof because um, these boots are too big. So, we'll see. put my feet here so that I'm not just sitting in this overhang and uh, it's going to be easier to take off the rest of this little bit of wood here so today I'm really I'm really grateful for that piece of wood and uh, it's my first time on the roof and I'm taking it off so that's good so 
I'm gonna keep going that way. Keep pulling this off. Okay, I got I gotta work. I can't keep talking. I'm only tarping it like this where I'm banging into everything and tearing up the shingles because I'm pulling everything off. It's not supposed to rain for the next five days, but this is good to have it ready to go because I don't know how far I'm going to get on this between having a wedding this weekend. Here's my glasses. My glasses! And uh, it's just life. I don't know how far we're going to get, so I'm going to put in more nail down on each of these corners i'm gonna leave it pretty far exposed because that one i'm gonna be exposing that far in more than i am gonna be the top for right now so i'm gonna probably drive that in halfway kind of tick it over the rest of these i've been pounding down so it's not gonna move but when i come to work on this i'm gonna release it from those front corners and pull it back get it out of the way and keep working so 